morning guys I am at home and I'm on reserve which is really weird because normally I'm sitting reserve in some other country but here I am I'm whispering because it's early and Rick is still sleeping but come spend the day with me on reserve I don't know how interesting today will be but I'll just do kind of like Day in the life of sitting reserve at home. The sun is coming. The sun is coming. It's risen. It's time for some Reiki. I made some overnight oats. I know it doesn't look too good right now, but just wait. Ta-da! So I added some bananas, a little bit more cinnamon, and some all-natural peanut butter. But let's get real. It's not always this nice presentation. I usually just throw everything in there. I just did it for you guys. And can we appreciate my yogurt land spoon? Oh, and don't mind my busted up bowl. It's lived in. So I usually just sit here, eat my breakfast, catch up on my YouTube YouTubers that I follow and then just wait till Rick wakes up. Oh, and Neko wants to say hi. Almost forgot to feed Francis. Somebody woke up. Oh, is that my morning? <laughs> Good morning! Here's Rick's coffee montage. Ooh. Hold on blend. And Rick does the pour over. I gotta eat the avocados because they're going soft. And look at the flowers. When did you get these for me? Like two weeks ago? Yeah. And they're still alive. Like not even a brown spot. And I'm gonna have a second cup. Stop. All right, guys, it is about 11 a.m. Rick just left to go to the gym. So he normally goes to the gym every day, and then on his way back, he uh, brings back lunch. Um, so we have lunch, and then um, he goes to work. Uh, but yeah, so I am on reserve for the next eight days, eight or nine days. Um, I went on reserve this morning at 4 a.m. And yeah, it's a little weird to be at home or reserve because normally, as you see, I'm normally on reserve in another state or another country, but it is our slow month. So sometimes you sit reserve at home. But anywho, um, just come along with me today. Like I said, it's probably not gonna be that interesting. The only thing that I wanna do um, is I have four trash bags of clothes that I wanna drop off at Goodwill. So this year is like, year of the purge like um when i started taking down christmas decorations as you can see took down the christmas decoration um i just started purging like going through every single room and like getting rid of stuff that we did not need anymore or i did not need anymore especially clothes like i got rid of so much shirts and pants and jackets and like do I really need 10 pairs of jeans? Do I really need 10 pairs of pants, 10 pairs of shorts? No. So I definitely got rid of a lot of clothes. Uh, started off with the closet, then moved to the bedroom, got rid of junk there, came out here. 
and yeah and then we also got um a storage um, because we bought a lot of new stuff especially like fall decorations halloween decorations christmas decorations so we bought new bins to put those decorations in and then we put those in the storage unit it's just a small storage unit so that also got me kind of like cleaning out every room here because since we have the storage unit i kind of wanted to um see what we can store there what we need and what we don't need and i also have my storage unit out on the lanai so i also got to clean that out and get rid of stuff that i don't need all my junk and crap <laughs> but yeah i think this is the year of the purge like i just want to be not minimalistic but just i don't like i mean it's not too bad now but i just didn't like clutter and then oh so i got a display case from ikea but i kind of had a fail with that because it's a little too small so i started putting my mugs in and realized that i'm not gonna have room for all of them so this is mainly all the green boxes which is the older series but i still got all my blue down there which i have no room for so either i'm gonna buy another one of those but i kind of don't want to have two of those so i might just need to get like a double wide like china cabinet or something like that and then put that somewhere because yeah all my mugs is not going to fit in there but um with all the cleaning and purging and stuff like that we got to clean out this area so all back here used to be just stuff bins and clothes and things like that so yeah i can actually see the wall now so and this area is supposed to be um my dining room that's what this area is but i like my table over there by the window so now we have this space to do something with but anyways um this month we haven't planned any trip for this month um so i'm on reserve for the next eight eight nine days i don't know if i'll go anywhere because you know it's just a short eight or nine days but you never know um they still have so when you sit in home base um you still have the minimum two hour call out to get to the airport but it's rare for me in vegas because we always got to get flown out or commercial out so they got to book us a flight and so normally we have hours and hours advance notice or even days advance notice uh, but you never know you never know they could surprise you with a two hour minimum and say you have a flight in two hours to out of vegas so get to the airport um i do have Bertha's over there ready to go I have you know medium and big because I don't know if how long my trip is gonna be so yeah so the only thing I wanted to do or go out today is drop off the bags of clothing at Goodwill and then um, there is like a couple new um, coffee shops that opened up in my area so I wanted to try one I think one was called the human being I think and I was looking at their menu and they had like some good uh, iced coffees and stuff like that. So I just wanted to try it. There's so much new stuff being built in this area. Like when I moved out here long, long time ago, there was like nothing. It was just houses. I'm going to get ready. Well, at least freshen up and stuff like that since I'm going to go out. At least look half decent, you know, to go out into society. It's about 12 o'clock now and Rick should be home soon from the gym so I'm just gonna prep some stuff for lunch. He's gonna grab some roast chicken I think from the grocery store so um, I have like salad and some leftover stuff from dinner. Yesterday for lunch we made grilled steak and um, here's some leftover grilled broccoli and mushrooms. So, and this I cooked in my in our um, that thing over there like we use that like all the time like we hardly use the stove that's like the air fryer grill oven roaster all in one and then i have a salad here just one of those pre-packaged salads from um walmart and i'm gonna cut up a uh, avocado
gonna make Rick salad, so he likes spinach. And I think he wanted tomatoes, because he told me to buy this yesterday. So how do you open the... Uh, I don't know how to open this. Oh my gosh, well, how do you open this? Alexa, open the tomato. What does this sticker do? No. It's child proof. <gasps> oh my gosh, there's an opening on the top. I put a key. Like, <coughs> it's a peel here to open the top. Okay. Oh my goodness. Well, learned something new today. So apparently, uh huh, uh huh. And then I will set the table. Chicken. This is for the chicken. All right, Rick is home from the gym and he bought the chicken. So I'm just going to plate that up and then um, bring the food to all the food to the table. Here's our bird. Lunch is served. Overcast day today. Hmm, this was pretty tasty. I'll tell you what, the croissant is flaky. It's got a nice taste. And then the mm, vanilla that looks cream, good. there's a lot in there. Also the strawberry, that little bit of freshness. It's not bad. <laughs> but it is All right, Rick's leaving for work now. Hi guys. You got everything. Phone, yeah. wallet, keys. Have a good day. Drive safely. Thank you. You too, man. All right. It's a couple hours later, so let's go and drop off the clothes at Goodwill before I get lazy because it's a gloomy day outside, gloomy cold day, and it's one of those days where you just want to stay in. So let's go do that now. And also before Pahana traffic hits because we don't want to be stuck in that. Burr. It's like 50 degrees, but it's still burr. Just going to warm the car up a little bit. Thank God for seat heaters. I thought I was gonna get out and drop it off, but they came out. Um, I guess they don't stand outside because it is cold. Because now the car says it's 46 degrees, so it's a little cold. But let's go get coffee. I am gonna get iced coffee though, because even though it's cold outside, no matter how cold it is, like in the afternoon, I only want iced coffee, not hot. We'll go check out that new place. Could I order the snowy? And are you able to do it with oat milk? 
Yeah, there's gonna be dairy in the snowy powder. Is that okay? Uh, yeah, that's fine. And what size? Um, what is it? Me, uh, medium. Yeah. Gotcha. And you said hot or ice? Uh, ice, please. Six pounds ice snowy mocha with oat milk. Anything else today? Uh, no, that's it. Perfect. We'll see you at the window. All right. Thank you. Hi there. Hi there. Another 16 ounce snowy mocha with oat milk. Yes. Did you want that hot or ice? Ice. Ice, no problem. The total would be 704. Okay. Oh, no. All right, thank you. Of course, have a good day. How are you too? Oh no, I lost my bean. Oh, you can't see it, but they put like a little, I think it's a chocolate covered coffee bean, but it already fell, it fell in the, the hole. She um, forgot if I wanted it hot or iced, so that's why I had to wait a little bit at the window, but it's okay, they're new, they gotta, you know, work out their kinks, but I got their snowy, because I think it's one of their signature drinks, which is just a white chocolate mocha, and if you know, I don't usually order white chocolate mocha, because like at Starbucks, it's the most fattening drink on the menu, but I got it here because it's one of their signature drinks. Um, I wish I should ask for a straw because I want to make sure it's mixed good, but we'll try it. They also had on the menu a chocolate macadamia, so I want to try that next time I come back. Ooh. Oh, this is really good. This is way better than Starbucks's one. Hang on one second. Green light. It's not as um, sweet as Starbucks because Starbucks is white chocolate mocha. It's so sweet. This one is perfect. It has a nice blend. Like how I said, I like when there you can actually taste the coffee and not just like sugar or sweetness. Human being. I hear you. All right, back home. Whew, I'm out of breath. I took the stairs. I mean, I would park next to the elevator, but there's always no parking there because everybody wants to take the elevator. But whew, what a day! So exciting. Um, anyways, back home now, I'm gonna enjoy my coffee, maybe tomorrow I'll try the other new coffee place that opened up as well. Actually, I need to go check if that one is open already, because I just drove by it yesterday, and I didn't notice if it was still building, but the sign was up, so, yeah, so maybe I'll go check that out tomorrow, but, yep, still on reserve, haven't gotten it called, I don't think I'm gonna get used for the next eight days, so, might be just chilling here at home, which no problem in doing that, but I am out of breath, my gosh. Anywho, good coffee, good coffee at the Human Bean. They also have food there, so maybe I'll go back and try their food or their pastries. Um, but I definitely want to go back and try their chocolate macadamia. But yeah, so it did come with like a chocolate covered coffee bean. She put it right on top of the hole. And it was standing there for a little bit, I guess, but when I drove off, it fell in. So it's in here somewhere. I'll get to it. It's like the prize at the bottom. But anywho, talk to you guys later. And now the sun is setting at 4.30 in the late afternoon. Oh, love my dirty windows. What's up guys? It's about 7.30 p.m. I just took a shower and I was thinking about eating something. I'm actually not that hungry. Um, when I drank the coffee, the coffee kind of curds my appetite. But I think I'll just have um, some salad. I still have some salad left over from lunch. And then I'm just going to chill out for the rest of the night. 
um, edit this vlog for you guys and then uh, Rick usually comes home a little bit after midnight so yeah so thanks for spending the day with me so exciting right being on reserve at home I still got a whole week of reserve ahead of me but I will let you guys know of course if I get assigned the trip so other than that I'll see you guys on the next one aloha